Welcome to STEM at Home by the Dodgen Robotics team, the Afterburners. Today, we are going to teach you how to make a STEM activity that involves glue, paper, and weights. You will need the following supplies. Four index cards, a glue stick, metal washers, a ruler, something to write with, tape, and two plastic or paper cups. First, take two index cards and glue them together, one on top of the other. After the glue has dried, label the glue index cards as glued. Take the other two remaining index cards and do not glue them together. Just write unglued on both of them. In the center of both pairs of cards, draw a two inch circle in the middle of both sides of all of the cards. Then, take your two cups and place them four inches apart. Tape them to the table, making sure that they are still four inches apart. Now that you have set up the activity, it is time to learn. First, stack the two unglued cards on top of the cups. Stack washers in the circle you made previously, counting as you go. When the cards collapse, stop stacking and record the amount of washers you used. Next, put the glued cards on top of the cups. Stack washers in the circle on those two. How many did you end up with before it collapsed? Record that number too. Which cards held up the longest? The glued cards should have held the most weight. This is because they were stuck together and formed one stronger card instead of two weak cards that can slide apart. The gluing of thin layers is called lamination. This relates to science, technology, engineering, and math because manufacturers do similar things with glue and thin materials to make different products. For example, plywood is made out of many thin layers of wood held together with glue, and it is stronger than just plain wood. This makes plywood an ideal substance to use in skateboards and houses. Now that you know how to make this activity, you can share with your friends, family, and fellow humans. This has been STEM at Home by the Dodge and Robotics team, the Afterburners. Thanks for watching.